Okay, this is going to be a bit of a long video, but I'm going to go over what each of the different eye modes do. Now, a eye mode is used by Mobile VR Station to hide the user interface so that you can get a clearer view of the content without having it pop up all the time. Now, the one thing is when you enter an eye mode, exiting it can be a little difficult. So each one has a different exit requirement, but then you just need to know in advance what you need to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and edit my current profile, scroll down, and then I'm going to find my, my eye mode. So by default, I'm just going to start with the first one, and then I'm going to work my way all the way down through the rest. So we're going to do show eye icon on floor. All right, now I'm going to enter the player. All right, so I'm currently inside the player. I'm going to tap on the eye mode. All right, so now I am in eye mode. I can look around. Look up and down, the interface is not there, but if I look at the ground, a little eyeball sitting there. So now what I can do is I can just stare at the eyeball, and then the user interface is back. Okay, let me three finger tap, and I'm going to go back and I'm going to edit it. I'm going to now switch to the next eye mode. All right, so now this is the no UI touch to return eye mode. All right, so tap it. All right, so now I am in the no UI plus touch. Look around, nothing on the floor, nothing on the, on the ceiling. So now let me just tap the screen, and then the interface came back, and also it recentered the view to that spot. Let me, okay, let me three finger tap, okay, edit the profile again. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Now I'm gonna do no UI, yaw, and roll. All right, this is a little bit of a special one that was built for when you need to use it on a uh, exercise bike. But let me now touch the eyeball, and you may you won't see it now, but I'm actually tilting my phone left and right, and the image it does not tilt. It's it's a little hard to show here, but you know if you tilt your head, the image doesn't tilt. The only thing you can do is if you look up and down, then up and down works. But this is for if you're on a stationary bike or equipment where you're swaying left and right a lot that you, you don't have to worry about drifting because your view is always centered. All right, let me now exit out, touch, and then three finger tap. All right, next one, please. All right, go down here. Now I'm going to the, this is a, a, another special one. Hit the player. All right, now I'm going to tap the eye. And now, you know, you can't see this either, but I am, I am moving the phone up, down, left, right, tilting, and nothing happens. Well, in this eye mode, head tracking is completely disabled. So you can't do anything now. The only thing you do is you can tap the screen, and then it comes back. But that's also, if you, know, if you, if you just want to focus on watching content and not, and not worry about head tracking. All right, now let me go back and I want to manage my link again. All right, now let's go to the next one. So, okay, now here's here's just a couple more. I can probably skip these. Show eye icon on ceiling. That's the same as show eye icon on floor, except it's above you instead. And there's also show icon offset floor. That's on, the eye is on the floor. It's just a little bit higher up so you don't have to like face all the way down. And then similarly, show icon offset ceiling. It's a little bit off the ceiling, so you don't have to look all the way up. Now let's go into the most fun one. No UI tilt controls. This one is extremely useful. Let me also go into my content browser because I'm gonna want some uh, content for this. So, okay. Now I am in a uh, panoramic image. Now let me tap on the eye. All right, I am viewing it. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tilt my phone right. Okay, and then come back to a normal position. And if you notice, my photo actually changed. So you can use your head to control next and previous by tilting left or right. So if I tilt left, I'm back to the first image that I started with. All right, and now if my view gets offset a bit, like if I want this to be my new center point, I will look up 
and then look down and then it will recenter my view on where I am. So look up again, look down, view is recentered to this point and then if I want to exit I look down and then I look up and then there's my user interface right down there. So that's just a easy way to hide the interface but not lose complete functionality. You just need to be careful that you know while viewing content you don't look all the way down otherwise you just exited I mode. But you can also, uh, let me see, you can also just tap the screen and it will also exit I mode too. And then inside of the uh, settings, let me go in there now, uh, there's a section in here just for um, tilt options. So you can set the left dead zone, the right dead zone, the up dead zone, and the down dead zone. And then so like let's say if you never wanted to ever recenter, you can drag the up dead zone all the way to the right and then it says off. So you can do that as a nice little way to disable a uh, option. Like if you never wanted to uh, exit, you could just move the down dead zone, you know, all the way up. And then the, the, the only way to exit that mode would be to uh, tap the screen or use a MFI controller. And then also at the bottom here, the hold time is how long you need to be past the uh, limit that we set here. And then repeat time is how long do you need to then hold that pose for it to happen again. So if I wanted to keep navigating right, I would just hold my head tilted right and then it would keep navigating every one and a half seconds. Thank you.